Welcome to our channel. The other day we introduced you to Mater and Tater, our cats, and our dog Bella. I thought you'd enjoy meeting Otis. Otis is our main coon. We adopted him from a local breeder in our area when he was eight weeks old. His birthday is March 23rd, 2006, making him 13 years old. So being an older cat, he likes to sleep and relax a lot. So I thought I would come and sit with him as I told you a little bit about him and Maine Coons in general. So if any of you are out there considering getting a Maine Coon as a pet, me personally, I highly recommend them. They make very good pets. They're very good with children and they're good with other animals. We requested a solid white one, but there are 75 different color variations of the Maine Coon. They have very long, shaggy, layered fur. Right now, Otis has been groomed. He, he gets groomed twice a year. And the reason why is because the older he gets, uh, his desire to groom himself decreases. <laughs> so just to help his hair from getting matted up and getting knots and just being dirty, because he, he just can't clean himself like he used to. I take him to a local groomer and they shave him down into like a little line cut and then they give him a bath. So we get him done about every two, uh, twice a year um, when his hair is starting to, to get long and starting to mat up. But he's beautiful when he has his hair really long. And at the end of this video, over the years, I've, I've taken a lot of photographs of him. He photographs well. He's very handsome. And I, so through the years, I've collected a lot of pictures of him. So at the end of the video, I'm going to insert some of the photos that I have for y'all to enjoy and just see what he looked like throughout the years when he was smaller and just a reflection of his cute little personality. The Maine Coons are the oldest and the largest of the domesticated cat breeds. Um, they get their name. They are the official cat for the state of Maine. And they're known for their distinctive physical appearance. Like I say, they have very large features. Um, they possess... <laughs> wow, you just show up for the camera, huh? They, they have the long hair, and then they ha also have, they have long, bushy tails. His tail right now, like I say, has been groomed to the, the line cut, so his tail is not long and bushy right now. Well, it's long, but it's not bushy. But their tails are designed that way so they can wrap their tails around them for extra warmth. And he does that a lot. When he's laying down, he wraps his tail around him. Because these cats were designed to be able to endure hostile, uh, cold climates. Like in New England, um, up north, they're, they are bred to be that way so they can stay warm and be out in the snow. They have thick paws and big feet, and they have um, real furry ears. And all of that is so it can keep them warm if they're out in the snow. These type of cats are supposed to be very good hunters. Um, Otis, I don't see that trait in him because of his lifestyle. And when I say lifestyle, he's always been, been an indoor cat. So he's not ever been one that's been outside are used to going out and, and killing birds or mice or anything like that. He's he's very domesticated and has lived a really frou frou life. <laughs> so he's he's totally indoors and enjoys the air conditioning and the heat in the winter time. So if if you are considering getting a Maine Coon, one thing that I would advise is just be prepared. They are pricey. Um, like I say, we got him 13 years ago at a local um, breed, breeder in our area. She bred them, and then uh, her fee at that time was $500. Now, the average price for, for this breed is anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500. Um, are they worth the money? To me personally, absolutely. If you're looking for a good pet and you know, and you you have the money to invest in, in a pet like this. Because, um, like I say, he's very well disciplined. They're very trainable. Uh, he's very well mannered. They don't, you know, make a mess. He's not revengeful. Like, like some cats, so you go away on vacation and you come home 
they, they kind of want to get back at you if they're a little angry with you. Um, Otis has never really been that way. Um, he's just very, um, he's very proper. Sometimes the Maine Coons are referred to as dogs of the cat world because of their large size and their loyalty. And another nickname for them are gentle giants. They're big, but they're also, they're very, they're very gentle and very sweet. And right now he's just, you know, laying out and he's purring. And they also, they say that they don't do a typical meow, and they don't. It's almost like they, they have some kind of little cat talk uh, language that they do. And it's in between a chirp and a trill. And, and he will make that sound a lot of times, like if he knows he's about to get fed and he sees his, you know, me opening his food, he will make this little sound. And he also, he's funny because when we sneeze, he makes that sound. And it's all I always say and tease that he's saying, bless you. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe we're getting on his nerves when we sneeze, I don't know. But another interesting fact about the Maine Coons I learned that I thought was neat is they were the winner of the first American Cat Show in 1895. So, and like I say, they're, uh, they're they have very large heads. And right now, hey, there you go. Get back in the camera so everybody can see you. This video is all about you, Otis. Um, on average, a Maine Coon can tip the scales anywhere from 13 to 18 pounds. Um, Otis is. That, that is roughly twice the size of an average house cat. Um, Otis weighs in at a little over 30 pounds. And he just walked off. He's going to another area. So I'm going to end the video with some photos of, I've taken of him throughout the years just to reflect his fun personality and how handsome he is. He photographs well, so I've taken a bunch <laughs> since we've had him. And if you like this video and you enjoy the photos, let me know because I have more and I can do another video and, and show more photos of him. He's a very fascinating cat. Anywhere that we take him to the vet, the people in the waiting room just make over him. They all come and want to meet him and staff at the vet, they all come in and they're just, everybody's in awe of him. They won't take his picture because he's just so big. People that come over to our house, they, they're in love with Otis. Everybody that meets Otis loves him. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or you can also contact me on our Facebook page on Our Green Acres. And I'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have. If you're considering getting to Maine Coon or if you're just, you know, fascinated by the Maine Coons in general, you know, please let me know. And thanks again for watching. And, and Otis sends his love. I wish you could hear him. He's snoring. We're disturbing his nap.